We start with the tensions over Ukraine. Britain says it's ready to deploy 1,000 more troops over potential humanitarian concerns linked to Ukraine. The announcement comes as Prime Minister Boris Johnson heads to NATO and Poland. Britain has rebuffed the Russian demands to rule out Ukraine joining in NATO. It's warned of massive consequences if Russia invades Ukraine. The United States has also deployed troops in Poland for missions including a potential evacuation. Russia says Washington and London have hyped up the issue to distract their public from their own domestic crisis and have saved face after what a spokeswoman called the flop in Afghanistan. Stuart Smith has more details from Moscow. The UK Prime Minister says warships and fighter jets to southeastern Europe. That's where around six warships are heading from Syria, from Russia's uh, bases there, into the Black Sea. Important because that's where Ukraine and Russia both have naval bases. The United States is continuing its deployment of American troops into Europe with around 1,700 uh, making the uh, trip over to land in Poland today and a further uh, up to a maximum of 3,000 promised for other countries in Eastern Europe. The Foreign Office says that the only way forward for Russia is to cease its aggression and engage in meaningful talks. The UK prioritising de-escalation on the Russian side, moving its troops away from the border with Ukraine. Also making sure that Russia understands that, in the UK's opinion, the Kremlin is damaging its standing and interests on the global stage. And thirdly, Liz Truss keen to point out, uh, for the, from the UK point of view, the Ukraine has a right to self-determination. They're the big three things she wants to talk to the Kremlin about, but the ambassador of Russia to the United Kingdom says if that's all, then talks could be very short. Russia, he says, is, uh, has been watching the news and is keeping a keen eye on everything the UK is saying. What he is interested in hearing, though, potentially, is if the UK has some contribution to make related to Russia's national security demands. The sanctions regime that the United Kingdom is proposing and is due to go through Parliament on Thursday tomorrow should allow the UK government to sanction a whole swathe of potential uh, top aides or top links to the Kremlin, business people, politicians, anyone that has money in London. Around 33 uh, oligarchs are billionaires uh, from Russia and have their wealth stored in London. And Liz Truss says she would like there to be nowhere to hide for these funds. That would only be implemented, though, if Russia invades Ukraine, which Russia insists it has no desire to do and indeed will not attack any country. The Normandy Four, namely Ukraine, Russia, France and Germany, are scheduled to hold talks on Thursday, trying to lower tensions over Ukraine. Ukraine's foreign minister has praised the EU's efforts in mediating the conflict. He says he sees true opportunities for a diplomatic solution. EU diplomatic chief Joseph Borrell said there is a hope for not going into military confrontation as people are willing to sit at a table and talk. Russia also called on all sides to take concrete measures to defuse tensions. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said the main hope for Russia is the fulfilling of the Minsk Accord through the talks. Meanwhile, Russia and Belarus are scheduled to launch joint military drills on Thursday. The drills are named Union Courage 2020 and are expected to last 10 days. Russia's defense ministry has released a video showing a Su-35S fighter patrolling the aerial borders of Belarus as the two sides carried out exercises involving paratroopers and air patrols. The Belarusian defense ministry said armored personnel, personnel carriers, mortars, grenade launchers and small arms were used during the drills so far. Japan will divert some liquefied natural gas cargoes to Europe. The decision comes as a response to requests from the US and the EU as tensions flare up with Russia. Some cargoes will arrive in Europe in February and more will be supplied next month. But Japan's surplus supply is likely to be limited given strong domestic demand in winter. Germany's gas stock have fallen to a worrying level with stocks now at some 35 percent. Fears are mounting amid a severe gas shortage in Europe over Ukraine tensions, which could further affect energy supplies from Russia.